In this tutorial, I'm going to show you how to add sound to your web page. What's going to be different about this sound is that the sound will be embedded into the website where the text will be there um, so the students or whoever is watching can actually read and hear what you're saying. So I'm going to go to um, Accessories and under Entertainment, there's a program called Sound Recorder. It's a very simple um, option to record sound. I have a, a very inexpensive headphone, a microphone and headphones that I'm using. I'll just press the record and I'm going to read exactly what's on the screen. You are part of the International Energy Commission, IEC. You will research up to three different energy sources. Select a city outside of the United States and create a presentation to present to the Environmental Protection Agency on what type of energy source the city should use for their electrical power for houses. Now then I press stop. Now I'm going to do file save as. Now I'm going to go to uh, my website folder and in here I'm going to create a f another folder and I'll just call it sound so I'll keep all my sound files there and this one is going to be called task and it saves it as a WAV file. I can close my sound recorder. Now I'm in my web my uh, web quest. I'm using Dreamweaver here and I'm going to add a sound. So right here under task um, I'm going to go under the comments tab and there's a plugin for all your flash files, flash buttons. On the bottom there's one called plugin. I'm going to select plugin and it's going to ask where it wants and it went to my sound. I went to go to my sound folder and I clicked on double click on task and here it brings up this plugin uh, button. Now here's the here's the part. If I just save this and submit it Whenever you go to the website, it's going to automatically play the file, and we don't want that. I don't want my. I don't want every time someone loads the page that the sound comes up. I want it to be an option. So I'm going to click on this, the the picture here, and then I'm going to go on the split screen here. Now you can see that it is highlighted, and it says sound task wave. And after the sound task wave, it has the width and description here. I have to type in this this script, and it's pretty simple. It's auto play. Autoplay, one word, equals false. Means I don't want it to autoplay, I want it to press play. And I'm also going to do a space, and I'm going to do a loop equals false. That means it won't start over. So I have autoplay equals false, space, loop equals false, then space. And then I can go back to the screen, and one more thing I want to do is I'm going to make this a little wider. So I'm going to stretch this so when you view it, um, it shows up. So I'm going to press F12 now, it's going to ask me to save it. It's going to bring up my other website and here you can see I have the control there and if I press play it has what I recorded